Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on a couple of the little lappy size quilts that we got from, uh, that we bought from a gentleman uh, in the summer and uh, I'm gonna kind of zip them up to give to my mom because she's made some new friends where she is and they're perfect little lap blankets or you know something to put over the lap or in the bed or something like that so I'm hoping that she'll be able to give it away to a couple new friends that she's made so we're going to do this one this week and this one next week okay so let's start off on this one I thought we'd do a little bit of a fun clamshell this one's uh it's got flowers and berries and all sorts of knicky knacks looks like strawberries on it and some roses and flowers and daisies and stuff so it's very pretty uh I should have looked at it before I base stitched it. It could have been seems a little bit better. I mean, it's really good in some spots. It's fantastic, but ah, it's okay. I'm happy for it. It's something fun to quilt up. Okay, so with the design that we're doing, I, I chose the blue light, so hopefully you can see the thread a bit better as it's coming down, because uh, it is white. So I'm gonna start over here, and you'll see I kind of sectioned these uh, squares out into fours because they're a big one. They're like a five and a half inch square, five inch square, something like that. So I was trying to go center in lines here and you can tell it's clearly off, but I'm going to try to do the best that I can to try and make it as even as possible. So uh, here we go. Hopefully you uh, like this little fun design. Make sure I can figure out what I was doing first here. Um, yeah, it's okay. Trying to hop right into about the center. And then hop again to the other center. Make like a little piece of grass, a little hooky lampy thingy or swirly thingy, doesn't really matter. And then trying to move to the other center, which is approximate because of the way it's, um, it's been, you know, stitched together. You know, note to self, look at them before you put them on the long arm. <laughs> okay, and then skip over to here. Hopefully you can see the thread. And of course you can make this as big or as small as you like, or as complicated or uncomplicated as you like. Okay. And then when we go with the row above, we're gonna hit those seams and do the same thing, okay? So make sure you're moving. I know, I just thought they were pretty and I'm thinking, okay, I can give a few away to charity, but I could also give a few to my mom and she can distribute how she likes to her new buddies that have made her feel welcome in, in her uh, new home. So I figure I can do that. All right, so now we're ending off there. So we're gonna travel up on the outside here. And this is why I sectioned off these uh, squares into four. So you can see I did a half one here, the other half would be, I come up over here, you probably can't see it, but. So I'm gonna follow this one to the center of the seams, into the seams, and then do the same design. But um, it's obviously the opposite of what I've done down below. So it's a clam shell sort of idea. Maybe not as clam shelly like, but uh, you know, that's, that's your arch. You can put your arch any way you like it. And then of course, you can either do your swirl the other direction, okay? And then hop to the other one, okay? And of course you're moving. You have to stop the machine, stop it. You know, big swirls, little swirls, be crazy, be conservative, you know, that's up to you. You don't even have to put a swirl, you can just do straight lines up and down, you can do a whole family of lines, you know. And then after you get a couple of rows done, the whole pattern pops out at you in a very clammy-like manner. A clammy shell manner. Okay. I can really see the thread, so hopefully you guys can too. That looks so cool. I 
was like, how can we get him to see the thread? Oh, we'll switch it to the blue light. There we go. Okay, so that's back on that row, and that help, it teaches you to go left and right as you're quilting. So we're gonna come up again, and we're gonna come to here, and then we're gonna go here and do our little, little flourish, and then over to the center, and to the center, and we're just gonna work our way till we get to the top. And then I'll roll the quilt and work from the bottom to that, to the next point. So, all right, so I wanna kind of come in like I was already coming in from an arch from somewhere else, right? Because it was, like you're just continuing it as if it was there, right? And up. And, oops. I did the swirls the same as the second row. All right, so we're going to have to do some little designing going on here. <laughs> well, we'll do two rows of this and two rows of that. <laughs> it happens. It's okay. And I just chose a uh, little orange chalk uh marking tool and it will easily rub away i've already tried so i just thought i couldn't see the white and i didn't want to see the blue oops a bit shy on that one um so i used orange So that looks like we're going to stop there. Can you see the little clamshells already starting to form a bit? Okay, so we'll work our way up to the top, up to here, because we're now we're going to use this pot again as our as our jump spot to making our little curl. So I have to make sure I do my curl the other direction. Okay, so oops, come down here. Run out of bobbin? Oh, maybe we did. Alrighty then. <laughs> Hold on. I think I got one in here. There we go. Un momento. That had more than that. <clears throat> Actually, that doesn't have a lot on it either. One second here. Let me see what we got going on over here. Oh, there we go. It's like there. I knew there was one with more. Where are you going? Don't you go nowhere. All right. There. Sorry about that. Oops, there it is. Okay, now are we? We were back over here, over here. Yeah, and you can tell these little stitches right there are really, really tight. So I'd probably pick all that out because obviously it was the end of the bobbin and uh, sometimes that's what happens it gets really snug so let's just pick that out a second here Could just go get the seam ripper but then I don't want it to be my best friend <laughs> oh it's okay all right We'll just continue on. I'll pick that out. So we'll stop over here. We'll come up. Oops, let's go the other way. Oh well. So pretty much, you'll get your pattern after a couple rows. You start seeing all the clamshells appearing. Oh. You can do a leaf, you can do a flower. You can do anything you like. It really, the, the options are endless. So, isn't that cute? I think it looks cute. Yeah. All right, well, hopefully you like that, and uh, I'll finish it up and then take some pictures of it.
Have a great Wednesday, and we will see you on the weekend project. We're working on block nine of our quilt series. We're very excited. We're getting so close to the end. It's like, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I have to control myself not to do all the blocks. <laughs> I promise I'll wait for you. All right, so we'll see you on the weekend project. And then, of course, on the live stream, where we're just going to, I don't know, we're going to fiddle something up. Maybe the work on the tree, the scrappy tree behind me there, and have lots of inquiries about it. So uh, we'll, we'll set that up. All right. Have a great Wednesday, everybody. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.